President Monsef Marzouki takes the oath of office in Tunisia, an event his people will remember for generations to come. His emotional inaugural speech, the standing ovation, the ceremony itself, all unprecedented. He said he would rule for all Tunisians and he promised equal rights for all women regardless of whether they wear the veil. But he also stressed that the challenges ahead require a great deal of time and patience. We have to preserve the spirit of the revolution, speed up reforms, create job opportunities, encourage investments without exploiting people, punish those responsible for abuses, but at the same time promote reconciliation. We have to stress our Arab Islamic identity, but at the same time we have to reach out to the West. Ahmed Najib Shabi is a prominent member of the opposition. He says the president is beholden to a coalition led by the Islamists. They are unilaterally taking decisions. They are not consulting with other parties. This is going to undermine democratic institutions. We've been waiting for a year and still the demands of the people haven't been addressed. The situation is deteriorating and the new government won't be able to solve the problems. Accusations dismissed by the ruling coalition. I am very optimistic. You know why? Because at least this is uh, concerning me and the other allies and our and, and the three, the two other allies. We agreed upon dialogue. Upon I know we are not ident identical, but we know that we have created a space of uh, compromise, a space of dialogue. And if this space continues to exist, I know that we will go forward. Marzouki has moved to his office in the wealthy city of Carthage. The handover ceremony with the acting president is over. He is now officially in charge of the country's destiny. This is where the former president Zain al Abidin bin Ali ran the country with an iron fist for 23 years. Now there's a new president who made it clear that he's committed to human rights, genuine reforms, the rule of law, and the sovereignty of the people. Hashim Al Jazeera, Tunis.